What's up everybody? Welcome to episode 3 of our new web series. Today we're going to look at two new cuts which is called a swing cut and a charlier cut. Like I said in the intro, today we're going to be learning two cuts and the first one up is the swing cut. So this is a very simple, easy cut that you can do and it's a good way to lose a card or mess up a deck. So this is a very simple cut, it's used in quite a lot of card magic and it's very easy to do so we're going to look at doing it. So as you can see here, I've actually got a joker on the top just for an example. So obviously you can see all the backs of the cards and what we're going to do is do the swing cut and using the joker card you can actually see where the card's getting cut to just an example. So if I was to take the joker out and just a normal cut that's what it would look like. So this is what your regular deck of cards would look like. All you do, swing cut, that's it completed. Now, with the joker on the top, so what's happening is, that's it. So the top card is now lost in the middle of the deck, as you can see here. There we go, there's the joker. I'm just gonna go over the basic mechanics of this. So what's best to do is if you hold the card, like the biddle grip, so like so, then what you do is extend your index finger from being curled over up to the top of the deck, like so. And what you're going to do is with your first finger or your index finger, lift up half of the deck or whatever amount of the deck, just swing it across. So again, finger comes from here, goes up there, picks up some of the deck, swings across. And what's easy to do is your middle finger, is if you lift that up just to give it some clearance so when it twists around it doesn't get stuck like that. So again, up and around. And all you want to do is take that with your other hand. Take the other deck of cards and put it on top. And that is your cut. So as you can see here, that top card is now lost in the middle of the deck. So again, just slowly go from your piddle grip, like that. Index finger, up, cut. Take that side of cards, put them on top. And that is your swing cut. Simple as that. It's a good way, so if you're showing someone a magic trick, the cards on top, quickly do that. That's now lost in the middle of the deck. Super simple, super easy to do. The next thing we're going to cover is the Charlier cut. Now this one is a bit more difficult, but once you practice it, it gets easier. So again, it depends on what hand you feel more comfortable with doing it. Ideally, you want to do it in your left and your right. So no matter what you're doing, you can do the Charlier cut. So the Charlier cut is a very simple move where you've got one hand, split the deck, and the cards get shuffled. I'll take it in the other hand and just do a quick Charlier cut. And again, just takes practice so you can do it with both hands. So as you can see here, the deck is held by all fingers. You have your thumb on the longest edge towards you, first finger on the shortest edge, and your little finger on the shortest edge. Your ring in middle is on the other long end. So basically what you're going to do is hold it in a grip like this. You take your thumb, lift up about half the cards, and as you can see, these cards have dropped down now. And what you're going to do, take your index finger to push them up and over and complete it. So as you can see here from this angle, what you're going to do is Take your thumb to split half the cards, that goes up, index finger comes down, pushes those cards up and on top and then you complete it. So again, index finger here on the short side of the cards, thumb, like that, splits half the deck, index finger pushes it under, complete it. And that's a Charlier cut. What I find easiest is with your little finger, if you keep that held there, that keeps the cards stuck together. So for example, if I do it here, and I don't have my little finger there, the cards go all over because there's nothing to stop them from moving. Whereas if you keep your little finger there, when you flip them up, those cards are still kept in the same place because there's no movement from the little finger. So again, you can just square them up with one hand again and you can keep doing it over and over. That's two simple cuts that we've covered. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you learned something new and looking forward to doing the next one. Until next time, see ya.